We need to get rid of the things that are stopping us from becoming the kind of people that God wants us to become. If there's anything in your life that's stopping you from becoming the man or the woman that God wants you to be, then you need to take those things and just move them right to the side. Well, I want to ask you a question about yourself. What kind of a person are you? Or what kind of a person do you think the other people in the room or your friends think you are? Or what kind of a person do you think God thinks you are? Well, you see, it's important that we see ourselves the way God sees us, not the way we see ourselves. And how, how do you do that? Well, if I wanted to know how God saw me, this is probably what I'd do. I'd probably close my hands like this and close my eyes and say, God, please show me how you see me. I want to see myself the way you see me. Now, if you would just say that little prayer, I'll bet you God would give you some insight into you, into who you're supposed to be, and into what kind of a path he wants you to go down. I'm gonna tell you about somebody in the Bible, and I'm gonna use him as an example uh, of someone who was struggling to get on the path that God had for him. And when I tell you who he is, you're gonna laugh and say, I could never, ever be like that person. And, and you know, you're right, you probably never could be and that guy's name was Moses. You know, the incredible thing about Moses was the fact that he had a very huge inferiority complex. Moses had an inferiority complex when God called him and said, you know what, Moses, I want you to come over here. In Exodus chapter three, God calls him up to the mountain and sits him down in front of a burning bush and says, oh, by the way, take your shoes off. You're standing on holy ground. And Moses, in fear and trembling, goes up to the bush, takes his shoes off, and he says, here I am, God, what do you want me to do? And in, and in chapter three of Exodus, verse 10, God says, come now, therefore, I will send you unto Pharaoh that you might bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And you know what Moses said? He said, God, I can't do that. You don't know who you're asking. I, I don't have the faith to do that. That was Moses' original answer to God. Well, you know, God's calling you to do something with your life. I'm sure of that. I'm certain of that. And the sooner you can find the path that God has for you, the sooner you're able to hear his voice, the sooner you'll be able to get started in your life. You cannot be like the man who fed his body but starved his soul.